guys welcome back to another nail video so today I'm going to start off by showing you what items I'm using today I am filming with natural light so I'm hoping the quality of the video will be a little bit better than with artificial light so I am sculpting my nails today these forms I got from the Beauty UK show I'm using Nao's high speed acrylic liquid flawless nail bed color clear two glitter mixes I'm using today these are both made by me this one I made specifically for this design But this one I did record and I've called it Pink Unicorn Dust. This video of how I made this will be on hopefully sometime this week. And then these crushed power shell shells are from Beauty Big Bang. These are gorgeous guys. So I did use this colour for my other hand but with them being really crushed I can't find another big bit. So I'm going to use this colour for my other hand. So now I'm just going to get on and prep my nails. So next I'm using some prep and wipe and I'm putting this on with a lint-free wipe from Nao. And then after that, I'm going to put one coat of protein bond on now and then one more before I apply the acrylic. Okay, so now that's done, I'm going to put the nail forms on. Now, I did obviously use these nail forms with my other hand and I usually get quite bad itching with some forms of nail forms but with these I didn't so I'm really chuffed about that and now I'm wishing that I got more but never mind um, yeah I'm doing this also on my left hand for some reason nowadays I end up doing a better job on my left hand so sorry I always squeeze that first and then apply it to the nail and then just make sure it's nice and tight and then just squeeze the bottom and then squeeze all the way down because you want it really nice and to a point and then I'm doing it to the XL there so I'm just going to squeeze that to where the XL is and then that should make a really nice stiletto nail so I'm just pushing it together there and I'm not pushing it to all the way together because then it'll just close but just to where the XL is that's how I do it and that is how I apply all my nail forms so I'm just going to apply another coat of the protein bond and then I'm going to sculpt myself a clear stiletto tip and then I take the nail when that's dry I take the nail form off and then I work from there So before I start the design, I'm just going to file down the nails so they match my other hand. Okay. 
Okay, so when you're doing things like a nail bed with your non-dominant hand, just do it in little sections. It, it doesn't matter if you make a mess at first, as long as like the nail bed is opaque and you can't see through it. When you've finished the main structure of the nail bed, then just put a nice coat of the nail bed colour over the top so you can't see all the lumps and bumps. Apart from that, if it's too thick, then you file it. It's no big deal, Just but just to do it a little bit slower than you would with your dominant hand. So now for the glitter mixes, on my first finger will be the blue at the top, the pink at the bottom. My second finger will just be the pink and my pinky will be blue at the top and pink at the bottom. So in with this mix from Claire's, you can see there they've got really big bits. So I'm just going to go into this pack and just get some of these and put that in between the blue and the pink. So now that nail is finished, I'm going to encapsulate with Nao's Clear. Okay, so with the two nails I've got the nail bed, I'm going to put the blue on the tip and then I'm going to get the blue power shell and just put a couple of bits on there and encapsulate. Okay, so that took some filing, I'm not going to lie. Next I'm going to take this 100% acetone or pure acetone with a lint free wipe and just go over the design. I got this idea from Kirsty Meakin, just smooths out everything what you've just done. And then I'm going to get to top coating. So I'm going to take Nao's Mega Gloss Gel Sealer and cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. Okay guys, so next I'm going to do a unicorn horn on the finger with all the pink on and I'm just going to use Nao's clear to make the unicorn horn. Then I'm going to put some of Nao's top coat on and then put some of 
SolarColorDust.com's Chrome Dust in Mermaid. Okay, so now that has cured, I'm going to get this mermaid dust and just get a applicator and just rub it into the clear acrylic that I've just done for the horn. And then I'm just going to make up a brush and just making sure that all the excess is off. Then I'm just going to put another coat of the top coat on and that should be fine then. It's not a huge difference uh, but it makes some difference to the colour underneath. So I'm just going to do the same to my other hand as well. then guys that is the end of this week's video I really do like these they're definitely more on the unusual side that I've been doing lately I would love to know your opinion on what you think about these guys if you enjoyed this video I would love it if you would consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification so that every time I upload a video you get to see it first all right guys thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time bye